Good evening, everyone. My name is, uh, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you all uh, here and also on the camera with the Zoom. Um, my name is Eric Wijaya. I graduated from Kursu uh, with, uh, I was with 6.1 iOS, the last one in Kursu for the iOS. Um, And it is with great pleasure to announce that today I am one of the associate team with AWS Enterprise Support. I feel really blessed and honored to be part of Kursu because during my time at Kursu, I not only learned how to code, but also found a community that supported each other for a lifetime. I found, I found out that I found a new family. Um, it was proven when I joined the AWS with the civil lining. They also offering the same help and support when the same thing that I got from my iOS 6.1 and 6.3. So um, in short reflection of my transformation journey until I land my first tech job is I migrated here from Jakarta, Indonesia back in 1998 with a round trip ticket and $750 in my pocket. I have a dream to chase the American dream to obtain a um, master degree because I just graduated from the college over there in Indonesia in financial management. And I'm, I'm hoping once I got my master's degree, I can get a decent job and I can start my family to make my American dream. But of course, um, it was, I found it very difficult for me at the start to secure any entry level job in that finance field, let alone I just fresh graduate from a country that probably somebody never heard of. I don't have any working experience and English is not my first language. So I ended up studying with odd end job, being a bus boy, um, working for a fast food retail, working at the Dunkin Donuts. Um, finally, after about six months I'm in the United States. I got a, a little bit decent job when I got applied to Barnes & Noble and I got accepted as their sales person. Um, I started build my career in retail with them and move up until I got the position to their assistant store manager. And, but another difficulty comes arise in my journey in 2015, as the retail world kind of enveloping themselves, um, the store that I work at for 17 plus year shut down its operation. And I got transferred to a, a tiny store in Long Island. Um, of course, with transferring to another small store, my responsibility and my income also got diminished as well. So even though my dream still to be in finance, still to want to get the master degree, still persisted, I have to postpone it because graduate school is very expensive too. Um, while I was working at Barnes & Noble, I didn't stop. I just pick up any books any material that I can get my hands on. I improve myself. I learn the operation from, from the back door in receiving to the front end. Um, I enrich myself, invest myself. That's why I got to the position as assistant store manager for the $8 million store that they're running. After working in the, this smaller new store, gave me more chances to know better my customers. I can listen to them better. And um, the couple of conversation I got with them, with my regular customers, brings me 
my attention to learn about app developer. Um, so I took a base of action of I start grabbing any books that I can about app developing, Googling it up, learning from the online, but I still find it trouble for me to just doing an online learning because I'm a product of the old school where I have to sit in the class, listen to the tutor and do the homework to understand everything. Um, around 2016, one of my ex coworker, uh, Rosemary Fermin, who was also a um, fellow from Pursu, she actually told me that there is a C4Q back then was Pursu's name, uh, by, run by UK. And uh, she, she said to me just to try that one because she just graduated from that fellowship. So I tried and uh, I like when I attend the info session, I really like um, UK stories behind the, the making of Pursu and, and I apply for the next cohort 2017. Um, I got rejected. I applied again, I did not give up. I applied in 2018, got rejected again. Until finally, in I applied for the 2019 and um, in April, I got a phone call from Tally that I got accepted into the IOS program. So I was feeling, feeling, feeling really, really grateful and blessed at that time. Um, I, I reply at the, as soon as I get that phone call and yes, I'm in, I don't. <laughs> Sorry. So during my time in class in Pursu, um, I still encounter many challenges such as balancing life, balancing time with family, and also balancing the time to study with the material that being pushed down to my, my brain or in the classroom. Um, it's actually after, the last time I pick up a textbook, was 1998. So can you imagine about 20 years that I haven't picked up textbooks? So it is very hard to restart the process, to re-understand it. So it actually take me about two to three times to make the material sink in before I can really do the, the labs. So sometimes um, people asking me like, Eric, have you finished the number 12 in the lab? No, I'm only number three. Like, so it's very hard for me. I'm very struggling. Stay long nights here in Pursu. Uh, stay in the classroom until the 6.2 pick us up because you know we have to take turns in using the classroom. Um, but I keep persisting myself. I keep studying whatever I can get. I just uh, push myself forward. Um, and whenever I can find opportunity, I, I just want to apply and grab it whenever I can. And that's why uh, after pursue, after core, actually um, I'm struggling to finding jobs like any other fellows in, in my classroom. Um, then the second challenges that I have at that time, we move pursue from classroom setting into online. And I have to adjust my uh, studying behavioral also on that matter. Uh, comes around in the mid of uh, 2020, uh, a letter from, an email from Jeff Drew about the Silver Lining program. And for me, I still like want to grow myself, even, even if uh, I try to grow, like increase my knowledge about something, diving deep, or I want to extend my knowledge in something new. So I just jump into the opportunity and replying to Jeff through like, yes, I'm interested to learn about cloud. And then I'm there. Uh, I got accepted and very, very, very uh, grateful for that too.
Um, therefore, I would like to say really appreciate Juke and Dave to organizing the creating Pursu back in 2000. I'm not sorry, I'm not really sure, like 2014. <laughs> From your uh, mom's kitchen too, right? Like, yeah, in your home. <laughs> and um, my big thankful to Rosemary Fermin that probably sits online, that introduced me to this pack. Um, I'm very grateful for you. Um, to Jeff Drew that giving me the opportunity, uh, accepting into the program with all the 70 plus volunteers from AWS. And um, the next one that I want to thanks my mentor from AWS, Leonardo. He is the one that like giving me um, really push when I was applying for the same position. And he was the one that told me that you just have to set up a date. <coughs> you set up a goal. At that time, um, I was trying to complete my certification for cloud practitioner and I feel like I'm not ready because I still have to <coughs> memorize the material two or three times, but I'm still failing at my uh, practice test. And he was the one that in every week, he was reminding me like, when are you gonna set it up? When are you gonna set it up? And then finally, he just gave an ultimatum to me like, you just set it up, set it up right now, three weeks from now, and you try. If you didn't pass, you try it again. But because of that, I have the courage to just sign up. And when I tried, I passed at the first time of trying. So that's it. Um, the second thing that I want to give to my uh, program manager is Tisna and Carolyn Kang, the one that um, encouraged me, trained me on doing the pro skill for interviews. Uh, for David Rifkin and Ben for introducing me for the Swift language and DSA. Alex Paul for inspiring me to keep building iOS apps that you, you can do to help people. To Alexis and Daphne in letting me volunteer for the next cohorts. Uh, back then I was volunteering for seven and eight. Um, for Leah to setting up the, with the AWS with Jeff Drew. To all my iOS six classes, uh, six one and six three, especially Jocelyn Boyd. Uh, that creating a small group of support while we go offline, uh, when we go online, only not in the classroom. Uh, we meet, keep meeting two times a week, doing a DSA, doing practicing building apps. Uh, Angela, Tia, Hildi, Nima, Carrie, and Michelle. To Anthony Gomez, Ian, Lippi, Ayula, Kimbo, Jack, Albert, Jason, Eric M, and also to my 63 class, Cameron, helping with DSA, Brandon, Christian, Gregory, Keely, Rupa, and Julia. And for my new family at AWS, Sri Rupa, Jessica, Shanda, Deborah, Mohammed, Brett, Gerald, Paul Haas, Greg, and Nico. Thank you. I couldn't have done it with you. Uh, finally, I would like to dedicate this song to my wife and my daughter, who is so pretty. No matter we uh, encounter any problems in our family, they always stood by my side. 
um, or so, so much that I spend in pursuit. Okay, basically, my wife is like a single parent. So we love helping her. So thank you so much for your love and support. And finally, for all my person family, I hope the Kong's sound will be a gentle reminder in our journey to keep our learning and keep building up forward.